So, Aldi and Ocado. This week, Aldi and Ocado with a little trip to Morrison's. Hi, welcome back to another video. If you are new here, then my name is John, and on this channel, we tend to do food shops like this one, uh, pantry restocks, not big, not big American style ones though, because I'm in the UK, so just kind of your everyday pantry stocks. Uh, charity shop videos, we did a vintage video, so second hand clothing videos, food waste videos, too good to go back, things like that. So, hello, hope we're all well. Yes, Ocado and Aldi. I think I spent about £54 in Ocado. That included some store cupboard items though. And £40 in Aldi, where I feel that I did really well. And then I went to Morrison's just for a few items whilst I was collecting the two good to go bag. And this week I'm shopping for a holiday because we're going away for a few days. Um, and I try to avoid eating out wherever possible because eating out needs to be a pleasurable experience with the prices of the food in restaurants. Um, and when you're eating out with three kids, it tends to be rushed, yes? There's no sitting and enjoying things. And, and to be honest, I find it difficult. If me and Daz ever go out for a meal, I find it difficult to sit there for a couple of hours. So I'm probably as bad as the kids, to be fair. So the only meal out we'll be having is fish and chips or maybe just chips <laughs> at the coast because we're going up to North Yorkshire. So everything that you see, we're going to be eating. I don't think we're going to really need anything else, to be fair. I've got everything. I'm going to be making a couple of meals in advance because what I've found over the years is that it doesn't matter how much food the kids eat in the car whilst they're travelling. As soon as you get to your destination, they are starving. They're hungry and the bodies are empty. So what I have been doing over the past few months is just preparing a couple of things, especially the first meal and the first lunch normally, because then I'm sorted and it's very quick and very easy. So this week I'm gonna do a bolognese. So all I have to do is cook the pasta whilst I'm there. I'm gonna do a vegetable chili for the second night, I think. I've made some tomato soup for lunch and I've baked up a load of um, sweet potatoes because I'm still I'm not doing it as seriously because this past week, as you know, it was my birthday, so I went out a few times and I'm going away. So it's very difficult to eat on plan when you're doing so many different things, but I have me been making healthy choices. But what I have found is now that I'm not really eating sugar at all and I'm not eating bread or anything, I'm hungry. So I can be satisfied with what I eat, but then in a two or three hours, I'm wanting something else to eat. So I just need to prepare for that whilst we are away because I don't want to, I don't want to slip back into relying on sugar or bread. No, no especially now I'm in about either week, I think it might be week three or week four. I don't want to go back. It's very easy isn't it, to slip back into old habits. So we shall be trying not to do that. Right, I'm gonna, scoot you over to yesterday because that's when I filmed, so that's when I did the shopping and uh, talk you through what I got. As always, the prices will be included. So I've managed to fit all of Aldi's shopping onto the breakfast bar, quite an achievement, £40 or £40 and seven pence. I do not think that that is bad at all. And most of this is coming with us or getting used for our trip away to North Yorkshire. Other than the things that are kind of multiple, so I'm not taking 10 chins, tins of chickpeas. Confused Neve slightly because she wanted to know how, why I were taking so much food. <laughs> so this is for five people. We've got 10 cans of chickpeas, 55 pence each, and I always like to have these in stock because I use them a lot for protein. Got a honeydew melon, two broccoli, some ready to eat kiwis and they are actually they are near nearly probably two days and they will all be ready to eat bag of cherry tomatoes some ginger this i want to make some turmeric and ginger lattes also known as golden milk some mini potatoes and some easy peelers these are quite expensive i thought but they look the best ones out of the lot Three courgettes, because I am still loving courgettes. 
an exceptionally large cucumber. Look at that, that is huge. Eight packs of the chicken noodles because that will be for suppers. And then moving on here, we have got a box of Cocoa Pops. Anybody who knows, mate, knows I don't normally do chocolate cereal, but since we're going away, it is a little bit of a treat. Tomato sauce, our Aldi has finally now got this back in stock. So the kids will be happy because they're sick of having the posh tomato sauce. Some crackers because they tend to have cheese and crackers whenever they're hungry whilst we're away. Some fig rolls for Daz. I still can't get any of the um, Barilla pasta on offer at the minute, so I'm just trying the Aldi one for whilst we're away. Packet of rich tea biscuits. Again, you know, I don't like to do a lot of sugar because my youngest child is a sugar demon, and if he has one thing, he'll want loads of things. But we will be having hot chocolate in the evening, so I wanted him to be able to have something with it. Some hummus and some guacamole. And we've got some tortilla wraps as a change from a sandwich because I think most of the lunches that I've got planned are going to be sandwiches or pizza toasters. So we've got some tortilla wraps as well. Some garlic bread to go with the um, spaghetti bolognese that I'm going to pre-make and take with us. Some pepperoni slices for the pizza toasters. And I did have one of these down in a breakfast deal from Ocado, but they were sold out. So I've picked one up again to go into the panini rolls. Um, so I'm going to take the panini maker with us. Two packs of this unsmoked German ham. Some chicken and stuffing for one of my sons to try. Because every time I cook a chicken dinner, he needs me to leave him some chicken and some stuffing so he can have a sandwich later. Um, and he's not fussed on ham sandwiches. So I've got him back to try. And I've got the Piri Piri Chicken Mini Fillets for the tortilla wraps. We've already got lettuce, so I didn't have to buy it. And then we've got the panini rolls. We've got these Metro rolls. These have got really good reviews. So I thought that would be a different sort of bread for one lunch. Some crumpets uh, for Darren for breakfast. And I know it's an Aldi shop, but I haven't got Aldi crumpets. But I don't know what they're like. So if you do know what they're like, will you let me know what the Aldi ones are like? So I know for next time. And then we've got some uh, 12 packets of crisps for the lunches. Obviously I might have to hide those, otherwise they'll probably start trying to snack on those. But yeah, that's everything that I got from Aldi. And then also whilst I was out shopping, I ended up going to Morrison's to pick a too good to go bag up. So just popped in to get Darren some tonics to go with his gin whilst we're away. These are six cans for £2.99. Got the kids a bottle of Vimto, this were two quid, just because it's something different from drinking water, isn't it? And whilst they're out filling the bottles up, they can just have Vimto as well if they want to. And um, got these for the kids and for Daz, and maybe me as well, maybe I'll have one, just as a little fizzy something for dinner. They didn't have Fanta, and even all the drinks Fanta, but they didn't have any, so I didn't get any. They got five for two quid. So we've got apple tizer. I think, what are these? 150ml apple tizer and the good old Dr Pepper. And then we went in the reduced section. It was very near closing, so there were hardly anything. However, I did manage to get four avocados that will do us for the full week whilst we're away. 43 pence each. These aren't even, well, it says ripe and ready. They're not. They've got another couple of days before the ripe and ready. Got some stone-baked uh, ciabatta rolls, which I will take with us for the pizza, pizza toasters. So that's my final bread that I need to get. And then these are for the car journey, um, just some white, white chocolate chunk cookies. And they were reduced from £1.29 to 65 pence. So moving on to a car though, this is everything that we've got this week for going away. And surprisingly, it doesn't look a lot, does it? But it came to £54. However, there are some pricey items. But I did get three bags of bananas because I need them and I'm going to be using them quite a bit, I reckon, whilst I'm away for, you know, going out for the days and breakfast and whenever else we're going to need bananas. So I'm actually taking them all with us. 
got two bags of sweet potatoes. I'm still loving sweet potato. And these are all going to get baked up um, later on today. And then I can take them with us when we go away. I say we, it'll be me, me and probably Drew that's eating those. How many is there? Two, there's probably about 12 between the two bags. So um, I'll probably bake up about eight or nine and then take the rest um, as they are. So this little set, this were in the five for £10 breakfast deal. As you can see, there's one thing missing and it was the cheese and salami that I ended up getting from um, Aldi. But I got the 10% Greek yogurt just for the added protein. It's higher in protein, this one, than the Aldi one. But the Aldi one tastes just as nice. It's just that this has got extra protein in it. Got two juices for the kids, a pressed apple and tropical fruit. And then I was just looking at these organic crispy flakes. Uh, is it spelt flakes? Something like that. I can't. I think it's spelt. It is, isn't it? You'll be, you'll be able to see because I'm looking through the camera as I'm filming. So I just miss every all information. Really good reviews. And I just thought maybe for something different, that would be nice to go with the natural yogurt and some fruit or whatever. So I'm going to put some of that in a jar and take it. I'm not going to take all the bag. These sausages, I got these in a too good to go bag whilst I was in Wales. Really nice brand and they were on a flash sale so I got them. This is getting turned into spaghetti bolognese because that's going to be his first meal of the holiday. And as I've already said, I like to pre-cook a couple of meals in a soup and then I'm not messing about when I get there. So that's going to get made into a spaghetti bolognese in a bit. I've got plenty in the fridge, but I just want to keep it in the fridge, so I bought this for a while ago. I'm going to take some of this. I need it. I'm stocking it up. Uh, and I'll just take some of these porridge oats in a jar, because I'm not going to need them all. There's only me that eats them. Um, and then pizza sauces. Again, I'm just going to take one of these with this for all the pizza toasters. Tuna, good source of protein. Myself and Neve eat a lot of tuna. So that four pack is coming with us. Again, I'll take some of these, I'll decant it into a glass container. Uh, really good just for adding to pancakes and to porridge and into smoothies. It's got really good stuff in it. Got two bags, it lasts for ages because you don't need a lot. Then we've got this milk again. This is my preferred milk at the moment. I'll just, there you go, so you can have a read. And um, we go through. I really need to buy four for a week because we we always have to go and just get some milk from the co-op on the final few, like final day or so. So I, sh I could do with buying four, but I'm still buying three for going away. Two Marks and Spencer's loaves, nice bread. Um, and we will probably need that for toast and the pizza toasties that I always go on about. And then these eggs are back in. I think they're about £2.50 now, so they've gone up a little bit. Um, I'll just take these. I have been getting eggs from the local farm, um, but these just, they were just an easy option, so I went with it. And yeah, so this is all we got from Ocado this week. And then if by magic, <laughs> that food has been turned into this. Now, one of the best things that you can ever make that's healthy is tomato soup. If Presumably, like, if you like tomatoes and you're not allergic or sensitive to them, I had all these ingredients in, it's like two cans of tomatoes, a red onion, some garlic, some basil, a splash of balsamic vinegar, vegetable stock cube and water. And I think that's about it. Boil it all up in a pan. Oh, and a carrot, I think I put it. Oh, and red pepper, but I had it all in anyway. Uh, boil it all up and then blend it. So I got these two with tomato soup, uh, spaghetti bolognese sauce uh, for the kids and dads and then a vegetable chili as a second meal and that is one of the easiest and laziest chili recipes known to man i think and that again is um onion garlic red pepper kidney beans baked beans tomatoes loads of herbs and spices and that's your lot so i'll just do rice with this and some tortilla chips because i've got some tortilla chips in the cupboard this will be with garlic bread and spaghetti. And then obviously with these, they'll either have soup and sandwich or um, soup and toast. And I will do some potatoes up because that's what I've been replacing bread with, some potatoes. 
And then those two there just for the freezer because I couldn't fit any more in. I do think it's um, a really good idea just to prepare stuff before you go because it's all done then and you're not stressing and having to get ingredients out. Sometimes I also take, you know, the Lloyd Grossman jars of um, curry sauce. Take a couple of those and some chicken breast and do a quick curry. But that just depends on what we're going to be doing. And normally the kids are asking for food all the time. And this time, because they're going to be away with so many friends, I think it's going to be a struggle to keep them fed. So that's one of my other concerns because my youngest child especially, he will ignore all his hunger cues because he's that busy and then he'll get that hungry that he gets angry. And then we've all got a huge problem on his hands. So with the things with the pizza toasters and the fruit and all the pre-made food is that I've got things on hand so I can feed him very quickly. The others are not that bad. They'll come in and say that they're hungry or they might take a sandwich out with them. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking this week. Just trying to actually keep them fed and keep myself fed. So um, I don't get hangry either. And again, as I said, uh, don't resort to shoving sugar and um, white carbs in my mouth because that is not gonna help me at all. I feel a lot better now I'm not eating them. So to just um, screw it all up because I weren't prepared. It's not very good, is it? It's not a smart move. Quick birthday catch up, because I've been in the 45 for nearly a week now. Uh, went out for a couple of meals with friends and went to the Harrogate Flower Show. It was good, but I don't think it was as good as last year. Um, flower displays, quite a few of them were around the coronation of the king, which I suppose, let me just move it because it's a little bit, maybe it's lighter here. We've got sun and shade all the time. I don't know what's been happening with whether it's just been so on and off, hasn't it? So yeah, you would imagine that probably King's coronation was going to take central stage, and it did. Um, I did film some of it, so if I can get it edited in a reasonable amount of time, I will pop it on for anybody who actually wants to see it. Um, if you've never been to a flower show, they are good. They are good. They have got live music and people from local areas, they all do, um, you know, from the florist schools and that, they all do displays and they have daffodil competitions and they have food vendors, you know, local food vendors selling the wares. I bought some cocktails. Let me have a look. Let me show you one. Two actually. Let me show you one or two. These cocktails. They were five for 20 quid, so four quid each. And you got, you got, you got a selection. This is espresso martini. I am actually trying to stay off caffeine now, but I will have it, I will have it. And that's your mojito. And then they've got English garden, they've got strawberry daiquiri, I think. So I just treat myself to some of those for my birthday. <laughs> I don't know whether I'll ever drink them. I might just have to have them in the summer because um, I'm not a drinker at all. If I went out Saturday night, and um, I had one drink and it was a lime and soda. I should have had a few more lime and sodas because I woke up the following morning feeling like I'd been drinking a whole bucket of alcohol because I was dehydrated. So that's a lesson to me, but I, yeah, I only had one drink and I went out for a good few hours. So I naughty daughter and I felt like crap the day after. But life's a learning lesson, isn't it? Right, I'm gonna get off. I hope you all have a good week and I will catch you later. Bye.